Burger eat. Classic burger for Maro. And a cheeseburger for me. Maro's classic combo burger with 265 bats menu. And I ordered a double cheeseburger combo set for 365 bats. So how much did that come to? 600 or something. 600 and something. Pretty expensive, but not much more expensive than Burger King. No. I'm looking forward to that. I'm pretty damn hungry. Yeah. Just as I cut it, Mara wanted to say something. If we were flying from here to Bangkok to the Bangkok Airways, we were going to get a meal, but with Thai Airways, it's just, I think, tea, coffee, and maybe something, little cake. It was a salad we had on the way here. Salad? Yeah, we had a nice salad. Oh, okay. It wasn't very filling. No. We only got to leave tonight at 11 o'clock or something like that. Nearly 12. And what time is it now? Six. We better eat something because by the time we take off and serving begins and drinks and snacks and that kind of thing, we'll be so damn hungry. So, waiting for our burgers. For those of you wondering why we didn't go to Burger King like we normally do, the queue was just too long there. So we hope, and no seats to sit either, so we chose this place instead. It's a nice view from these seats we have here. There's a north, north wind. Looks like a Boeing 777 leaving. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, here we have Maro's classic burger. That's actually looking very good. And my double cheeseburger. Both looking very good. Lovely. Maro is about to take a bite into a succulent burger. Notice how the tongue went out first, just to taste it quickly. It's good. Looks very juicy. Yeah, Oh yeah, yeah. I'm making a mess, yeah. It's difficult to eat burgers. Oh, it is. And went the tomato. Cut. <laughs> Maro's really going for it, eh? I haven't even touched my burger yet. Mission accomplished. It's good? Mm. What are you doing there with your teeth? I need my toothpicks. Can't be without toothpicks. Just got Mara there with her teeth wide open. That was enjoyable enough. Mm. The chewy pieces of meat. But that's how it is here in Thailand, the meat's meat. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Recommendable. Cool. Burger. The coral, what was it called? Coral Cafe. Yeah. Mara's gonna finish all the water. I had about one mouthful of that and we're sharing our water. It's very typical. We almost just finished eating. Mara's already jumping up out of her seat so she can go shopping. Shopping, shopping! Off we go again. Where are we going? Downstairs? Yeah. No, first we go back to Asia. Please. Ah, just gotta buy one more gallon. <laughs> While we were eating, it suddenly got very dark outside. Maro just headed down there to the bookshop where we were before. And I guess we just gotta hang around a little bit. But just for the record, that's where we were eating. One more time, I'll say it, the Coral Cafe. You got another calendar? Yeah. Show me the calendar there. Show the viewers the calendar. It's our Thailand 2018 calendar. We have a tradition of always buying one well, the when we're in Thailand. Having another look down at the airport now the lights are on. We'll be heading right down there in that direction, past number 11, to our gate number 8, when it's time to board. Amaro is now in shopping mode. Looking for some candies or dried fruit to buy. Looks like this is going to be a longer mission than I thought. Am I the only one who hates shopping mode? What do you guys think? Your wives are let loose in the airport. Good or bad? Let me know down in the comments. Here comes Mara with some successful shopping. You did it! No, well, there's not money even for a bottle of water. Oh great, that's typical Mara. You get enough shopping down there. Yeah. What did you buy? Some nice... Mango and coconut toffees. We've had that before. And then one, one more dried mango. Okay. A nice bag. A nice bag. Now the shopping's done. We're yes. going to make our way to 
gate 8 where our plane's leaving from. And I believe it's downstairs. Yeah. Which could mean that it's a bus boarding. Mm. To make our way there, we want. Not just walking to the plane from up here. They yeah. Really close. Yeah, they're quite close by. It'll be a walk on probably. But uh, I'm not going to film the walk down towards the gate. We'll see you again at the at the gates. Look at this queue here. They're all queuing for Burger King. <laughs> just kidding. Well, we can't just go downstairs as we had hoped. It is a boarding area. Normally it's downstairs as we check in. Once we go in, we'll be going down that way and down that escalator, down in that direction to catch a bus or to walk onto the plane. Just looking outside quickly now, I can see that it's pouring down with rain out there. So hopefully we are going with the bus to the airplane. We found ourselves a seat here, and it's just a case of waiting for boarding. Then we become gate lice. Next is favorite. <laughs> Not only is it still pouring down with rain, now it's also starting to thunder and lightning, or lightning and thunder. There it was. And now we're just going to wait for boarding for our flight, which begins at 8 o'clock. And the time now is 29 minutes past 7. Well, you have the thunder rumbling out there. Look at that rain out there. You can see our gate has been changed to gate number 10. And our flight number today is TG222 to Bangkok. And while I was away, I was just standing here by the, by the check-in desk or whatever it's called. You can hear the thunder in the background. And apparently the flight might be a little bit delayed. Let's see what happens. So there you have it, we got the delay till 8.50, the plane will depart, and 8.35, so it's only 15 minutes delay. So our flight now leaves at 9 o'clock, and we should arrive at Bangkok airport at 25 past 10 in the evening. It's 25 minutes past 8, and we're still standing here in the airport. You want to say it? The trusty person. Oh wow, it's the first time she ever said it. Well done. <laughs> The time is now 8.37 on the old trusty holster. We're still waiting for boarding here. If we're going to leave at 9, they better start boarding soon. So it ended up that there was one big mob going through. They said business class and first class first. And in the end, people just swarmed in from all sides. Now we're coming up to another queue to board our aircraft. Let's just look outside a little bit. It's dark. I don't see a plane there. Not quite sure where we're heading for now. The time is now three minutes, four minutes past nine. And it's going to be interesting to see if we can make our next flight. And we're on our way again. This chaos. Today. It's interesting to see where the aircraft actually is. The people waiting there on the side. It must be the domestic departures area. It is indeed. On we go. Maro's leading the way. Out towards the plane. Chances are that's our plane. We're supposed to be flying on a jumbo that looks more like a Boeing 777. Let's see if that's the case. So, Mara, we're flying on a 777, not a jumbo. Uh, we have an aircraft 
stuff there, just to the left. A little bit disappointing. It was supposed to be a Boeing 747, like I said. It turns out it's a Boeing 777. It's interesting to see where they've seated us. Kemarat is the name of the aircraft. Kemarat, CKJ. Good evening. Sadika, good evening. Thank you very much. That was an economic class seats. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I'm just following Maro. All the way down the aircraft. There we go. She's just ahead of me here. Maro finds our seat. And there we have it. We are here. We're here. So just let me go in a little bit. Very cramped for your legs. Very cramped. <laughs> You'll be happy to know, Maro, that there's a footrest for you. Oh, I love that. Still loading the aircraft on there. Eh? As we mentioned earlier on, this flight is very, very delayed. I think I'll begin the tour of the aircraft already. They're very brief and tour of the entertainment system. A very nice screen. Brightness can be controlled on the screen. So open the volume. Plug into it with a plug your USB in. You can charge your telephone on board. And it is controlled with a remote control. Very good remote control there, which also doubles as a keyboard and game controller. This can also be used as a telephone. You can see that's a credit card slider. And I would admit, yeah, there we go, that's the speaker and the microphone. The whole head. Easy to pull in and out. Just back that away. So here we are, we finally made it on board. Luckily we finally made, Maro doesn't like it when I wear my glasses. They're probably all steamed up and sweaty. This is going to be a brief short flight to, to Bangkok. And then, as usual, we are going to be running to catch our plane. So, we said that beforehand, it's not any excitement video or live running video to make it more fun. We really are delayed. We don't have very much time to reach our plane at Bangkok Airport. So, crossing fingers, crossing thumbs, whatever you call it, that we will make it to our plane. I just better remember to look at the lens again and not at the display. I'll never learn that. Sorry about that. But uh, we'll speak to you later on during the flight. See you then. Just before we get off the ground, let's have a look at the duty-free magazine, conveniently called Traveller. No relation to us. Just going to skim through it. Give you an idea of what's in the magazine. Women's jewelry, purses, cosmetics, perfume, the usual things you would expect to buy in a duty-free magazine or get from a duty-free magazine on board an aircraft. There you have it. That's a short version today. Then on to the next magazine, Sawadi, or Sawadi, is the Thai Airways official in-flight magazine. Cabin crew. Sounds like we could be on our way already. Voila. Ready at your station. And cabin crew is ready at their stations. We look at the articles and the images. And that was Sawadi. In-flight magazine, Thai Airways is in-flight magazine. That's all the magazines I have in front of me, so hopefully Mado has the safety card and maybe the traditional buff bag. 
there. You put on the buff bag. <laughs> oh. Here we have the safety card for the Boeing 777. Just going to skim through that very quickly also. What it looks like. They are all very similar. The only thing that changes often on these safety cards is the emergency exits according to the aircraft type you're flying with. There we have it. I'm going to just end this quickly now also on the safety card because the safety video has already begun. Flight team to be very full today. Not just Maro and I, as we had hoped for. <laughs> just as so, even though this is a Boeing 777, it must definitely be a domestic aircraft because the leg room is limited. My leg test is my knees are right in the seat in front of me. The leg room is very limited for those of us who are over six foot tall. Mano still has a bit of space. She does have leg room. And pushback has begun. Thank you for your attention. Safety, check Expect the time of arrival 3.35. That's very unrealistic. Yeah, it is. Arrival terminal 1, arrival gate B6, baggage carousel 2. I wonder how good any of those informations are. We are of course transferring to our Lufthansa flight to Frankfurt. Looks like our window is totally fogging up as our engine starts up. Ladies and gentlemen, towards the recent 
we're about to have a meal and I'm about to try and get as many drinks, non-alcoholic as I can because I'm hot and very thirsty. There's a sliding table. I've got a jersey around my waist so it's a little bit difficult to open. It's not quite my belly that's that big. But there you have the table and the folding mechanism and it's just as easy to close it with a finger or maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. One finger and the tray is closed. So this is the first flight of three. We got a connection flight at Bangkok Airport from Bumi with an Airbus A380 Lufthansa to Frankfurt. After that we'll have a SES Scandinavian Airlines flight to Copenhagen. How are we doing that? Are you as thirsty as I am? How many times have I said I'm thirsty now? I am thirsty. So we were given a snack and water. And the first one in the water, I thought it was supposed to be me, is Maro. It's good? It's nice and cold. Lovely. What's that snack you have there? Some kind of roll. Does it say what it's called? Pizza. Pizza wrap. Pizza wrap. Looking forward to having a look at that. Let me have a look at mine, see if it's the same thing. This chicken Caesar salad pizza wrap. It sounds very interesting and it's warmed up. A little box. Huh? Oh, I'm dying to get my water. What does that look like? How about taking a bite of it so we can see what it... Oh, then we'll bite it after. Oh, it's piping hot. It's not just hot. It's piping bloody hot. Oh, rather you than me. Oh, drink time. As I said, I was very thirsty, so they were kind enough to give me two Coca Colas, which I asked for. Marta's enjoying her, I'll call it a hot dog bun. What do you say? It's not very much to do with pizza. Do you like it? I don't think either of us are hungry after those burgers we had in the airport. They were very filling. It was actually a very good burger we had there. Well, that was a good snack pack. I finished mine. I had a few bites just to taste it because I'm pretty full. It wasn't too bad, was it? No, it was nice. But it didn't have anything to do with pizza. It was like a hot dog bun stuffed with a chicken. I know that they give something anyway. It's very good. Very appreciated. Let's see where we are now. Looks like we almost halfway there now. It's very nice getting those bottles of water and I very much appreciate that extra Coca-Cola I got. A little bit bumpy at the moment, a little bit of turbulence here. Not very much, nothing to speak about, but bumpy anyway. Hello there, looks like there's time for a toilet tour of the Boeing 777. I didn't think there was going to be time because it's a very short flight and we've got somebody sitting next to us in the seat. So let's get into the show straight away. Here we have the basin. Got some Thai toilet for me hand soap. Got the water button, which you adjust. The heat you press and the plug is over there. It's not really any auto toilets here today. It is a domestic flight, got the toilet, got the cabin crew calling button over here, the flushing button for the toilet, sorry, and there we have the toilet, and there's not very much leg room here as you can see, so I'm filming here, got some nice uh, toilet, toilet seat uh, wrappers, it's good for the hygiene, there we have me, hello to you all, hope you're all doing well and enjoying this flight review, even though it's a very short one, we've got a coat hanger here, and uh, here we have the latch for the door. Opening the door, you slide the latch to the left. And as you close the door, when you come in, the light comes on automatically. There's an ashtray. And here we have a dirt bin and some toilet paper. That's it. Look at the leg room, I can hardly move in here. And, uh, well, let's 
in the surf and we'll see you or I'll see you at the seat again. Thanks for watching. See you just now. Not sure whether you can see it or not out the window. All those little dots are fishing boats on the sea. They're normally green lights when you're closer. They're squid fishermen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are descending to the Swanapum Airport and this is for our in-flight services. For safety reasons, please return to your seat. Fasten your seat belt, put your seat back upright, store all seat components, and open the window sheet. Our carry-on items must be stored during our eyes and exit. And in a few minutes, we will perform a final safety check. Please perform the safety instructions given by cabin crew. Thank you. Time is now. Exactly 20 past 10 almost. What do you mean exactly 20 past 10 almost? There's no such thing. 20 past 10, sort of. And uh, 20 past 10 in the evening. Time to destination, 22 minutes. This I have never seen on a Thai Airways flight before with a crew goes around thanking every passenger personally. Looks like we are approaching Bangkok now. Not much to see at all there. And we are on final approach to Bangkok. Yes. Our current altitude is around 1,271 meters. Four minutes to go. Not sure if you can see it or not. The flaps are going down. Or were going down. Quite a traffic down there below us. We're now on short final. Very comfy. 
Running for another business class cabin here. I think they put us through these business class cabins on purpose, just so we can see what we're missing. Very comfy seats, a lot of space. Massage, etc. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Have a good flight. Have a nice flight. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. I was leading the way, now it's just a case of follow the white shirt. So this will take us. Looks like. What are we going out of there? Don't slip there. Looks like we're doing a. Uh, oh, is there a bus waiting for us or what? Us. No, we really have to hurry. Yeah. Now we're going to spend time waiting for the bus. Yeah. Well, the plane will wait for the bus. One of them is left, so we're waiting for another bus to arrive. Came another bus already. Hopefully we can get on board quickly. Get to the airport and start our walk. <laughs>